this is Paul from the Tank Modeler channel with my update on my AMT kit in 125 scale of the 1955 Chevy Cameo pickup truck. I think I've got that right this time hopefully. Anyway, so let's move on. So let's remove this box and get to the nitty gritty. This is the engine. I've actually done some work on it and where's my little pointy stick? Basically, uh, if I come to about here, we should be able to get a bit of fil filtration. There we go. Uh, can't get it to focus properly. Anyway, basically there's the air filter there on the top, this bit there, just there, air filter. And you've got the actual manifolds along here. They've got to be like a silvery colour, both sides. And the rest of the engine is basically going to be a, a commercial red. Um, there are air pipes and various pieces that go on out to the radiator and also the heating system within the cab come from the frontish area around here and zoom around and go into the body. I'm going to be reproducing those. Also, from the actual... Um, um, distributor, I'm going to be running all the leads that go around to the side of the engine, which I believe will go along here. I would have thought they'd been here somewhere, but uh, along here somewhere. I've not seen them on the, some of the pictures that people have done them that way. Uh, uh, someone can come tell me different, that'd be okay. But anyway, but that's the main idea where they're going to go. And also, uh, otherwise, from the battery and various pieces going through. And also, a wide lead, a lead coming from the starter and also from the generator. So there's a few leads that go on to this vehicle. Also I've noticed inside, so there they go, and I've, I don't know if it's going to work, but there you go. It wants to focus, doesn't it, but it doesn't want to. So focusing on my hand, which is a shame. There you go. looking for angles and angles anyway but basically that's that's done there's a little bit of a knot on the end of this bit there just here i don't know if you've just seen it then basically just there that broke off so i replaced it with a little bit of brass rod and it's and it's about the right size so I thought, uh, that, that, that was okay so that's basically it the, the air filter comes off the top which is nice that's got to be gloss black so that's Pretty much done the engine. I've got some bits, detail bits like all the distributors, the um, the oil filler, oil filter. That's got to have a lead come off it. Uh, the, st the starter and obviously the generator and the fan, and the pulleys and the gloss black for the actual fan itself, which is just down here. So all these bits here have got to be done and have cables come from. So I see the point of the picture actually. So I'll be doing that as well. Um, move the body forward slightly. I worked on this and basically this bit here the old radiator just fit it's just fitted loosely in there to see if it works i've done a lot of clean up and there's still more to do even on this little piece here because around the side i think you can see the white bit there that's actually a bit of filler on the side the front side on the bonnet area going around to where the end screen is there's a little dink in there we call that dinks in britain because it basically any dent in a small dent in the car's got a dink anyway i filled that in also had to rescribe the line that goes up that shows the door and we'll get this up there. There you go. There you go. Oh. What's it? It keeps doing it in and out. That's the trouble with this. Anyway, so basically there, oh, I think I'll go to manual focus. Hold on, if I just go to manual focus. There you go, manual focus, and you can see what I mean now. There's got the line; it's much better actually. So basically, you can see the line that's coming along here had to be rescribed just on that area there. I've cleaned all round the front, round this area around here, polished up round here. So I'm using my finger. All that sanded, all that smooth. It's got to have a little bit of filler put in the top, just below the headlights. Not much around there, and these are going to be more cleaned. I'm going to use more uh, bits. This has got to be done along here a bit more. You can see a little line there, a little bit, sort of like a rip lip. That's got to be sanded so it's more of a cut uh, over, unless it's actually in it, in the vehicle. But to me, it doesn't look like when I see the vehicle. So I'll check again anyway. But I'm going to be sanding that sort of so forth. That lip's got to be there all the way across, of course, obviously. So that's not too bad. So it's, and also on this side, you can see a little bit of white dink there. There you go, just there. That's a bit of a dink and all. And I filled that in with, uh, and I use Vallejo's um, white. Uh, sort of porcelain type uh, uh, filler they call it but anyway so it's got bits of porcelain in, and it comes up very really nice when it's done and being white it will be primed in, in grey when it's done and uh, so that'd be okay to check on it now inside the body there they are take this off now inside the body you can see I think you can just about see some yeah you can you can just see some wires there 
I'm thinking about marking them on and then basically rescribing them, putting a few wires in there so they're loose to make them look better. Uh, they could even be the radiator cables going for the heating and they just put them there as, to, to make it look good, but obviously they don't look good with it because it's not a 3D effect as such. So really that's uh, that bit. Um, you can see that there's the printing inside the cab. I shall rub that off later on. It's most probably some sort of very fine transfer. It just tells when it's licensed. 2009 this was uh, redone by the looks of it. So there you go. So that's that bit. I'll put that there. Um, I might be able to show the engine a bit better now with the old just manual focus. But I think most of you car builders have seen this before. There you go, that's better. Now I think you can see the white, I did the, the filling a lot better. So quite nice, lovely little unit really. Uh, next thing I've done is actually cleaned up a bit and done the, uh, the actual cab um, area, the driving compartment is it, in other words. And uh, they've actually got some details in here, the handles, but they're so flush you, you wouldn't even know they were there. So I'm tempted to actually look at them closely under a magnifying glass and actually make replicas of them. So just make them stand out a little bit. One's obviously for the window going up and down, one's to undo, undo the door, I'm presuming that. Got to be. Um, it fitted quite nicely. I think you can see what I mean, it fitted quite nicely. And I did line it up along the front so I could get that perfect bit and it fits quite nicely into the cab itself as well. So that's still got some cleaning up to do on that. And again, on the front, if you look at that, you can see some wires and that bits and pieces and from this box here going down off a few minutes must probably a fuse box of some sort and some wires running off into into the vehicle a battery will sit over here and i will also do that and there's some wires running off that and all so that's what i'm planning on doing that so that's that bit i'll put the radio back there the next thing i, I cleaned up a little bit not too much i've got this side to do um, but this is the um, flatbed for the truck itself and you can see that lovely bit of um, uh, wood grain in there. But um, one of the channels uh, I watched uh, recently, and I've been watching him quite a bit, and what, quite a few others actually of car builders, to get some tips and um, and see how they've been on. I've noticed that if you would build an actual vehicle that was just uh, left the shops, this would be like a greyish colour, a, a dark greyish black, blackish colour. The reason being is it was painted like that. And the only reason you see wood on uh, on some people's models is because basically it's been, the vehicle's been gone into have a refit and done itself up or, or been uh, upgraded as it were and they left the wood polished because yeah, it's not going to be used as a truck or stuff. So mine, I'm going to do that grey effect. I'm going to double check on, on, on the bloke's channel and I will be doing a couple of call outs on my next video to, sh to say sh sh shout out to these people that I've been watching because it, it's really worth. I mean, Charlie obviously is one of them, definitely. I've been watching him and he's he's, he's got some really good ideas on what he does. So, and um, Solomon and all, I think he built a vehicle recently and I've got to go and have a look at that at some point because I think he might have built it about he, half, six months ago. I need to go and have a look at his build log on that. And one or two of the others. There you go, so that's uh, on the way. Now, Slightly disappointing because there's a lot of work in this. I've been doing a lot of work on it, still working on it now. This is the, the actual the main frame for the, the actual sh the chassis, as we call it. And what, I, what I've had to do is a hell of a lot of sanding down the side. I've got to do some filling there and then some more sanding um, just to clean it up to make it look good because you're going to see that possibly underneath. Um, and uh, I, I like it to make it look nice. So I'm working on it still. And one thing I have noticed there is a slight kink in it. Now, whether that will fix itself once I get the wheels on in, in place, I don't know, but, it will, but I don't want to take a risk. So I will be putting this in hot water and actually um, making sure it's level when I start putting it together um, before I paint it. Um, there was four letters here. Now, I'm not sure whether they was meant to be or not. To me, it looked more like something that they put on it as an afterthought in the next batch when they actually built this. I've shaved it off, and I'm sorry if it's meant to be there. Never mind. It won't be there on mine. So... But I took the letters off. I can't even remember what they were now, but I did actually rub them off. I thought they just don't look right there. Because every model I've seen someone turn over, I haven't seen any letters in that position at all. So that's what I've done on that one. Um, so that's good. It's a bit more clean up we've been doing. It's a lot of clean up, this kit. Um, this is the, I've got to do some fill in. There's two um, plastic mold marks there, the old circles, the dreaded circles, as I like to call them. They will be filled by that filler and, and sanded down. It is a very thin one because they've done the edges just right and it does really, once I cleaned it up, it really does sit beautifully on the top there. And I do like the look of the, the actual shade on the top. So 
that's that. So really, that's as far as I've got with it, but I'm obviously not this clean up. And um, so I think we're cool with that bit. I'm just going to put the old thing back to in focus a bit now. There you go. So that is it really for this one. Um, I have got a colour for this and it's from Zero Paints and I've got their uh, primer just so I keep them a bit, bit the same because I've got about three or four cars to build at some point so I've, I've just ordered one which is good and I've El Dorado yellow I've used for this because it's a yellow and but then I find out that it's actually an ivory color so um, uh, Bombay hold on let's have a look let's move this lot be able to get to tell you the exact color now put that in there that in there as well there we go move them out of the way let's have a look see what it says it says it on the next bit actually Bombay Ivory is, I've never heard of it, but it's it's obviously a white a colour, uh, obviously a whitish colour, because the photographs I've seen of the new ones in showroom are whitish. So that's the colour. So and then obviously inside's all uh, inside the engine compartment's all uh, gloss black, so it says there. So I'm gonna look out for an ivory colour. Uh, whether it's a Bombay ivory or just an ivory white, I may look out for it and and decide to get that instead of using the other colour. But anyway, they've got plenty of time for that because it's more there's a lot of cleaning up to do on this model. So thank you very much for watching and that'd be the end of this little short short video. And um hopefully I'll get to get it uh, done sooner or later. But here is a process here if I do that. Yeah. Uh, there you go. That's done it. It's a bit better isn't it? that's on automatic. So really things are coming along nicely. Pull all the bits out again. Yeah, the things I've been working on and then the things I'm still going to be working on for a little bit longer and um, apart from that because apart from filling that bit on the back side so really that is about it then so what well, say thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one bye happy modeling